The New England Journal of Medicine today is reporting an exciting new treatment for cystic fibrosis. 30,000 Americans have the disease and most of them won't live past their mid-30s. From Philadelphia tonight, Dr. John LaPook tells us about this promising development. 27-year-old graduate student Lauren Soule struggled all her life to take a simple breath. Then she started an experimental drug. Pretty much within two or three days, I noticed a huge difference. I didn't have to stop and I was able to talk and I didn't have to use my inhaler before going into the classroom. It was a pretty huge change. Before now, patients with cystic fibrosis were only able to treat symptoms after they flared up. The new drug called Kaleidico is the first to target the underlying cause of the disease, decreasing the symptoms. The drug was tested in patients whose genetic mutation accounts for only 4% of cystic fibrosis cases. But this therapy is now being tried in a much wider group of patients. In cystic fibrosis, a gene mutation produces a defective protein that stops glands in the body from secreting water and salt normally. This causes thick mucus to damage the lungs, pancreas, intestines, and other areas. The new drug works by making the defective protein work better, loosening up secretions, and improving lung function. In results released today, 84 patients received the drug for almost a year. On average, they had improved breathing and fewer respiratory complications. Dr. Craig Girard says the drug could give patients a better quality of life. This drug for cystic fibrosis is like insulin for diabetes. It doesn't cure the disease, but it is a treatment that is directly based at what is the mechanism of the symptoms and the, and the physiology. So for the first time in Lauren Soul's life, she's letting herself think about starting a career and a family. I really try to take things day by day, week by week, and just um, pay attention to you know, the here and now, and now I can really focus on the future, and that's huge. That's amazing. The hope is to use these drugs to prevent or organ damage from occurring in the first place. But for now, Scott, this new treatment is an extremely promising and novel approach to what has been a tremendously devastating illness. John, thanks very much.